So usually on this channel, we talk about technology in all sorts of different forms. We talk about brand new phones coming out like the Samsung S20 or some of the best laptops on the market like the Surface Laptop 3. However, today I'm going to be talking about something that you as the general public searches the most on Google. So one of the main things that everybody keeps searching on Google is how do they connect their AirPods to basically any device that you own right now in 2020. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Being a long weekend, I've tried to be super productive with my time this time around instead of just lazing around and doing absolutely nothing. So this long weekend, I decided to take my years of e-commerce knowledge, put it together into a free PDF for people who are interested in starting a side hustle. So if it's something that interests you, check out the first link in the description below and maybe it might be something that will inspire you to start your very first e-commerce store in 2020. Anyway, let's get on to how you can connect a set of AirPods, be it one, two, or the Pro, to any device that you may own right now. So straight off the bat, the Apple AirPods are designed to work with Apple products and they're the easiest to connect with Apple products. So if you have an iPhone, it's as simple as opening the case, placing them next to it and waiting for the AirPod little emoji to pop up and clicking connect. The process is also identical with any iPad that you might own as well. Having said that, you can also connect it to a Samsung device. So I am predominantly a Samsung user and it is very, very easy to set up on your Samsung devices. All you have to do is pull the little tab down, press and hold the Bluetooth button to jump straight into your Bluetooth settings, open the case, Again, very similar, and wait for the Bluetooth connection to pop up. Mine was already connected on my phone, so it was automatically connecting as I open the case. It's just as simple as this, guys, to connect it to any laptop or any MacBook that you might own. So if you own a MacBook Pro, for example, like the one I'm showing in this video, all you have to do is go Command and Space, type in Bluetooth, and go to your main Bluetooth settings. It'll automatically begin searching for new devices that your laptop can get to. So again, open your AirPods, wait for the Bluetooth signal to connect to your computer, and then simply connect by pressing on your AirPods that you're looking for. The process has a few more steps if you're looking to connect it to a Windows PC or to a Surface Laptop 3 like I'm demonstrating here. It's not actually too hard or too much of a big deal. All you have to do is go to the bottom search bar and type in Bluetooth to open up your Bluetooth settings. From here, you have to go the one step further and click add new Bluetooth device and then add a Bluetooth mouse, keyboard, etc. Open the AirPods and wait for it to show up. Once it shows up, you simply click on it again and then go through the steps. But really, it is that simple. Now, if you're using an older computer or a computer that doesn't have Bluetooth, well, do not worry. You haven't gone and wasted a couple hundred dollars on AirPods and not able to use them on your computer. You can easily jump on eBay or Amazon or any of those sites and order a really cheap Bluetooth dongle. I think it costs you about two, three dollars. I'll link it in the description for you guys as well. That way you can easily just ship out a little dongle to you, plug it into a USB port on your computer and pretty much in seconds, go to your Bluetooth settings and connect these AirPods. There's no other major work to be done. Most of these Bluetooth dongles automatically either download a driver to your computer or don't need any drivers at all. So you can quickly and easily get your AirPods up and running. But this is something to take note of if you do already know that you don't have a computer with Bluetooth. So when you go to buy these AirPods, make sure that you buy the Bluetooth dongle beforehand so it arrives before these headphones get to you. Otherwise, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed that you can't use these headphones with your computer. And that's all I have for you guys today, a very simple, quick and easy tutorial, but one of the most searched tutorials online in 2020, which is astonishing to me. But hey, everybody's different and everybody needs to know the information. Thankfully, YouTube makes it super easy to find out what you need. So thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next Monday.